Hey loves, welcome back to another hair tutorial. If you're struggling with getting a flat foundation under your wigs, you've clicked the right video. I'm gonna walk you guys through exactly how I braid my hair down super flat for a flat install. To begin prepping my hair, I went in with the African Pride Aloe and Coconut Water Pre-Shampoo. Let that sit for 15-30 to 30 minutes and then I shampooed with my Cream of Nature Aloe and Black Castor Oil Healthy and Long Fortifying Shampoo. And then after that, I followed up with a deep conditioner and I'm using the African Pride Moroccan Clay and Shea Butter Heat Activated Mask. I love this mask, y'all. It smells so good. I made sure to sit under the dryer um, and you know, cause it says heat activated. So I sat under the dryer for a good 30 minutes. Then I rinsed it out and I'm going to begin prepping my hair by making sure I do four sections to apply all of my moisturizing products. And of course, you know, with me wearing wigs, I wanna make sure my hair is super moisturized under them. So I'm just making sure I really take my time by just showing my hair a lot of love and TLC. After dividing my hair in four sections, I'm gonna go in with the African Pride Coconut Milk and Honey Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm making sure to really focus that on my ends. And then I ended up kind of just spraying it in my hand because for some reason, I just feel like with spray leave-in conditioners, it just is so hard for me to feel like I'm getting all of my hair. So I would just rather spray it in my hand and just rub it all over that way. And of course, I'm gonna apply this to all four sections. And then after applying this, I'm going to follow up with a heavier cream and this is also by african pride and it is going to be the leave-in cream but i'm going to show you guys that in a second and the reason i wanted to do two products is because i just feel like if i'm going to have my hair braided down for a good minute i want to make sure that it just really doesn't dry out so this is the coconut and boba oil leave-in cream this also smells really really good it is a great moisturizer y'all like honestly you really can go in with this alone without the leave-in conditioner, but like I said, I wanted to just really make sure that my hair was super duper moisturized. And this is really good if you're going to be keeping your braids in for like an entire week. This combo is amazing, especially after following up from the conditioning. All right, so after I've applied all my products, I'm gonna pin that half up and work on the other half. And I like doing it in halves this way because I'm gonna be braiding in subsections. This technique just makes it a lot easier for me. I'm just gonna make sure that my hair is super detangled on each side. And you're gonna see me go in with my rat tail comb and basically make my first subsection going at a diagonal angle from the arch of my brow. I'm going to be honest, my parts are not going to be super perfect, and I'm not even going to braid super perfect. So again, this is like definitely the best technique for beginners if you feel like you're not the best braider, because trust me, these braids were not the neatest. So I did have to kind of turn around and look in the mirror, because this is really, really hard to part on camera. But once I've got that first subsection, I'm just going to twist up and pin that side away. Thank you. 
all right and once i do that i'm going to go in that subsection and create another two sections and that should give you two braids And then after that, I'm just going to begin braiding. Um, I like to make sure I braid, you know, pretty neat in the front. Um, I don't, you know, try to make them too tight or anything. And, you know, if you feel like you need to restart it, definitely restart it. Because you really want to make sure the front part or the top portion is pretty neat and as flat as possible. Now, when I get to the back, that's when it's like not the neatest. And that's totally okay. And you'll definitely see why at the end. And once I'm done with those first two braids, I'm going to go in to that bigger section that we sectioned off at the top. And that is going to create three braids. So basically, I like to make five braids on each side. So 10 braids in total. And I do this because for me, I feel like the smaller the braids, the flatter the foundation. And the flatter and more seamless your closure wigs or just wigs in general will look. You know, especially if you have thick or long hair, you just don't want humpy hair under your wigs. So I just found that this technique just makes my hair super duper flat. So again, I'm going to go in with the same technique as you saw, just simply parting off. And these braids are pretty much like a finger space apart. So relatively like an inch apart.
and once i have one side complete this is pretty much how it looks it wasn't too long to do so like i said you see how the back is just not the straightest parts you just want to make sure that the braids are flat and just fit going back honestly so that's pretty much all i do five braids on each side 10 braids in total and then once i'm done all i do is just go in with some edge control brush my edges back especially if you are you know doing a ball cap method or anything just go ahead and brush your edges back with some edge control or leave some of your edges out if you're using your own edges for your closure wigs and then i just tie it down at night and that is pretty much it or you know you can sleep with a satin pillowcase or put a uh, satin bonnet on and you are pretty much good to go now with your hair pretty much being still kind of damp i would honestly let it dry down some and this is why i just kind of go to bed like this before i put a wig on if you are not going to bed you know definitely sit under the dry a little bit let it dry down and this is pretty much how flat it looks under my wigs you guys i love it i love this technique so much better with the braids going back instead of going you know down the sides of my head i just feel like this makes it look 100 percent flatter in my opinion so let me know if this was super helpful in the comment section down below all the products i mentioned will be in the description box down below make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and follow me on instagram at the okay kayla and i will talk to you guys in my next video bye